things are my youth. Right now. 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 MyView TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple for me. People always vex when I talk, but guess what? I don't care. I want to know if I take this right and I want to run with it. Appreciate where you are in your journey, even if it's not where you want to be. Always remember this apart here. Every season serves a purpose. Well, go on, my people. Open body in okay. Open body in all right. Murders in Jamaica always get all passed. Instead of the police, them slap them away. Them pick them up and carry them behind bars. Yes. Go eat taxpayers' dollars and live rent free and scratch free. Let me tell you what I want for what I want. Because them are two boys and back should I get slapped out. So, them family keep one funeral for the two of them and dash them in a one hole. Them are brother. Two brothers have been charged with murder for the disturbing death of a man in Lennox District, Orange Bay, Portland on June 14. Charge are 25 year old Western Warren and 20 year old Ricardo Warren, otherwise called Ricky, both of Lennox District in the parish. The deceased has been identified as 37 year old Leighton Biggs. Otherwise called Zeke's in his people. Report reaching our news team from Orange Bay Police that at about 8 30 p.m., Biggs and the brother had an argument over money when he was allegedly stabbed. He was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. Remember me and they got through this already. But was I telling them no? Said them charge them. You understand? Ah, oh, slap them big heads, slap boy. More news. I'm not even going to put this too far in the news. I'm going to adjust the little nastiness there because I can't believe of all the person I mean to feel like I don't want to take on. Only look a family crash off a bike and dead. Instead of no go so boom and see if you can sell the parts and get the money if you keep funeral. Only come and try look argument with me. No matter with it, you understand? When them ride fast, foolish and stupid and dead off of them bike, no matter feel like say me go sorry for them. You understand? Me say what me say me mean and me say I'm not take you back. Then no come and talk about my if you never out there saying no know what happened. Alright. Me never out there. But me know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. No, say, I must stop in this in make him dead. A matter of fact, listen. But you say, I will be back, you don't give me to you, no, 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 no. But, I kind of want to believe that it will, you know. Like, the front wheel drop right in the center, it be my front in the brother. Right in the center, it be my back, the look at the front wheel blow up. And he's a man as he saw a little stretch and lift up a bike, you know, so I would have that reach him to choke. I mean, no, he's a youth. When he can ride, the man they ride back a long, long time, them boy they can ride you. You see me, but, yo, just for him time, you know, John was fine. 
best believe this one me talk me not sorry for them so what i said that i mean what i said you know me already people i not take you back well, I'm a bit there now. Right back out of Central Village, my God. Yes, you don't know, you police and gunman are shoot out right out of Central Village, right there, 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 sir. I can't tell you which police them shoot off a little head. Kill little head, dead. Him still on a burn pen. You understand? I like half party and a bag of things. No, 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 no. You're in a St. Catching now. Central Village to be exact. Them, them and they shoot off you, no matter which part of them see all over the station, they become come shoot off you, look at Me say, people, me over Central Village. Me never say me a drive past. Listen, this so good. Me say me over Central Village, and me the whole heap of nice. And me say me can go take a peep. Yes, so when me look, people, I look clear that the twin that me sip on them belly, flat, 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 flat. I be chat over them head. Me don't know where them a shoot off you, you understand? Because I'm going to get another and a coconut. I don't know what them shooting off for. But me can tell you this. If the youth them, when the fire shot off of them, the youth them were doggy and then I just said that I kept them come from. I don't call them near me, you understand? I don't call them near me, I don't deal with them yet. If them them were they could have shot, I tell you no. At some dead police mood I read about right now. You understand? Some dead police mood I read about. I know the next question. So my view, how are you reading about Central Village? You see the one Julian can't be walk on a fast with people sharing a little cross his son. Look how them soon get slapped with. I soon tell what shadow. We don't have to keep back and relax and wait for that. We can move on and give the people them some other news. Then people I want to tell me if we don't wrong them. Even though I slap them for get slapped with. The man them decide to watch on the man. The button and pepper spray business. We now work with that. I'll get myself a machine. Two St. James security guards were taking the custody on Monday following the siege of an illegal gun along with rounds of ammunition during a traffic stop in downtown Montego Bay. It supported about 1 p.m. the police were carrying out a vehicle spot check in the area when they signaled the driver of a white Toyota Probox motor car to stop. The driver complied and the vehicle was searched. You know, I see my children looking security ID. During the search, a tariff pistol fitted with a magazine containing a round of 38 was reportedly discovered according to the police. The male and female guard was arrested in connection with the seizure. The identity have been held pending further investigation. People in this side say, watch Pepper spray and back the business now work. A machine we want. Anyway, a St. Catching man accused of attacking and robbing another man of almost half a million dollars was remanded when he appeared before the parish court yesterday. Dwight All, a laborer of Bucktown in Spanish Town. No good people live for that, you know. No good people are coming around this. Uh. Alright, nobody has come back to old people. I lie, I tell the labor didn't go there. They attack both. Who is charged with robbery aggravation was ordered to return to court on July 18 when the case will again be mentioned. Allegation that on May 24th, the complainant was conducting business in Spanish town when he was attacked by the accused. He was also robbed of an abstract containing $496,000. And that the man up and him back, you know. The man made a report to the Spanish town police and an investigation was launched. All was arrested and later charged. But guess what? They may get the money yet. You understand? They can charge him without the money. Anyway, now people may can move on. A teen girl on Tuesday was fined 200000 or three months in prison for lottery scamming in the St. Catherine Circuit Court. The conviction against the minor who pled guilty to possession of identity information will not be part of her criminal record due to her status. Her co-accused, Duane Minto and Kevoy Garcia also pled guilty to possession of identity information. Minto was fined 900,000 or 12 months imprisonment while Garcia will have to pay 400,000 or spend 9 months behind bars. Also, let them forget slap with a fourth accused Ramon Miller, who was freed after no evidence was offered against him, while a fifth accused, Clemila, was ordered to turn to court on June 22nd when the matter will go to trial. Prosecutors reported that on July 22nd, 2022, members of the security forces joined anti-gang task force scooped down on the gated community of Caribbean Estate in Portmore St. Catherine to carry out a raid. I make I tell them something. I only pass camera live over that. I tell them the truth. I know only pass them over there. When they get slapped, when they tell the police, they don't slap them. They don't want to slap them. Because when they go over there, they get a little thing to put in their pocket. Yes. Police know all of the scam of them over there. I tell them no people. But, I see the money where they get, put that in their pocket, they are alright, so they keep their mouth shut. During the operation, a house with eight people, six men and two females were searched and the occupants held. Yes, and that's so come they were charged them one year. The police discovered several documents containing information about people living overseas, SIM cards, laptops, and cell phones. Yes, a Toyota Market motor car was also seized. The occupants were held on suspicion of large scamming and later charged. 
When you're supposed to have slapper people, you don't charge them. All the more criminals you get slapper, you know. So what I said, I mean, what I said, I you know me already. I don't take you back. I mean, I said, catching. I can just go to some more news then, the man. An elderly man who suffer from mental issue, who allegedly chop and kill his wife, 72 year old woman to be exact at their home in Bagua St. Catherine two months ago was further remanded in police custody last week. Cecil McDonald, yes people, you remember him? 77 year old Cecil McDonald, retired butcher. Butcher and wife, yes, appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Thursday. He is charged with the murder of his wife, Yvette McDonald, a retired nurse. Both lived at Hazard Lane in Bagua. A psychiatric evaluation has been ordered for the accused man ahead of his next court date on July 31st. Better and kick bucket round there. Better and stay around there and kick a bucket, you know. You understand? I always we always time on this boy. Yeah. Me I tell you the truth. We wasted time on him. Anyway now, people. Make a go into some more news. Cause some more little thing I go on. You understand? Right I sent and me gone. You understand? Me go so boom and look over the school and me see fire. I mean never get to tell you, you know. So me I tell you now. The sent and my infant school in and was closed yesterday following a fire which destroyed section of the institution early yesterday morning. Firefighters received call about a blaze at around 4.50 a.m. and responded with three units. You are going power go on now. Me I can make Emilio you know, Ibangs come come talk to you know, and then Lassani Ariso, the JTA president. We we received a call at 4.50 a.m. to the St. Anne's Bay station that the St. Anne's Bay Basic School was on fire. We responded with three units, two from St. Anne's Bay and one from Ocherius. On arrival at the given location, we saw a block of the St. Anne's Bay Basic School, which is at 24 Edge Hill Road, on fire. The fire was confined to a section of the block known as Brain Builders. Three classrooms, two bathrooms, and a storeroom were all impacted by the fire. As it is now, we have investigators on scene trying to ascertain the cause of the fire, and we are doing some investigations to try and determine the risk and loss associated. Quite unfortunate, close of another school year, the coming to the end of another school year, and for such devastation to take place at the St. Anne Bay in front, um, three-year-old classroom have been gutted by fire. The resource room where the Brain Builder Center was also engulfed as well as the storeroom and the um, kitchen all significantly affected by this raging fire. The teacher's personal loss in terms of their investment in their classroom space, um, materials, the print-rich classroom, the manipulatives bought out of the teacher's personal resources. Um, certainly, the, the, the teachers are devastated at this time. There was a resource room. It had a smart board in it, um, projector, that all engulfed. It is just a sad day. So not even the parents that have been mobilized to come in to help with cleanup, they have not received the okay to go in and do that as yet. So classes has been suspended for today and maybe for the rest of the week. And then they work out how, um, well, physically at least, because in, in speaking with my colleagues there, the possibility of offering lessons online exists, but it is the same bodies who need to be there at school as well, helping with the cleanup and all of that. Definitely rebuilding will have to take place. All the agencies that can possibly be mobilized to offer some assistance will definitely be needed. And a bit of no paper, if we never get the chance to put the money in the account for Akela, I am going to stop what I do right now and go and go do it, you understand? Give her a chance at life. Yeah man, give her a chance at life. Only look a politician. We have the whole heap of money. We only do want. Put it to her already, cuz. Yeah man, a matter of fact. I know a whole heap of people I wonder what really happened. I have some of them who are cuss, but how come that look a 14 year old a light stove by herself? She not supposed to do that. I don't have time for that right now, you understand? It's not no time for that right now. Anyway, the grandmother said, maybe, just maybe, at this house. This stove is a self lighted thing. So I don't know if she light it and leave it. And when she comes, she don't see it light. And then she light the other one and probably it blaze up like that. It hurts me so much, man. When I see him and, and, and when I go to the hospital and see him and see the liver of burn that she have, 
it, it pain my heart. I don't sleep from Friday. I don't eat. I can sit with her sometime and talk about how our days went even when I'm at work and she's at school. She was the second place awardee in the fire prevention competition. That's a poster competition. So she's very good at art. We really have great hope that she will return to us at Black River High School and sit in that very same classroom or at least another one because she'll be moving up. If you want to help, you can donate to her GoFundMe urgent support needed for Arcalia or the family's CWJ Cooperative Credit Union account at 651-7978.